the project when you are working on it and you can get the feedback what went wrong or something you haven't done properly and if you don't know about something you try to learn because when you learn something and you make it fast right and if you have made, made some mistake then you will try to rectify that in future so whenever you do all this and you have to improve that when you improve on these areas you will automatically do the things fast and you will improve and you will deliver the software very fast to the production so that's the important thing which is written there and simplicity oh sorry uh, technical excellence and good design uh, I'm sorry to miss that so we are testers right we are all testers do you guys know how to code it? Code, code, coding? Any idea? Right? How many of you know to code? Write code smart. Two. If you check your background, you all have done uh, tech, right? Right? There, there, is, uh, there are some subjects like you, have, you might have done coding. We can do it, but we don't enhance us, right? There is no such difference like testers, designers, uh, developers. As a team, all together it's, it's a team, that's all. If you are interested to learn coding, you can do coding. If the developer is interested to test, you, he can test. So as a team, we have only one goal that is to deliver the software with quality. Right? As we had the game, right? There is only one goal, right? There is no difference that I can only find two percent. I don't support others. I can one, find only one person. There is no sale error. We, as a team, we made the goal. That's how it goes. Okay. So whenever it comes to technical things, we can enhance ourselves for the project or the delivery. You can do that. And you have a chances over there. Okay. We have enough space to accommodate that. If you wanted to learn something, then you have enough space to do that. Okay. Based on that, the planning will happen. The best architects' requirements in design emerge from self-organizing team. So there, there is something in Scrum we don't have because we are going to look after Scrum. If we don't have any other roles, designers or something like that, we have a development team, product owner, and the Scrum master. That's all. No architects, no system testers, or something you know different, different roles. If they are there, they are included with the team. Okay, Most of the companies have the roles, but they come under the team and they work together as a team. They can contribute for the Scrum teams. Um, reflection on how to become more effective, then tunes and adjust its behavior accordingly. This is again, you know, you, you review yourself, you retrospect yourself as a team, and you improve yourself. Okay? That's how you improve your capability also. You find your challenges, you find your issues, and then you make some decision um, you know, decisions to make changes in the existing process or existing challenges. So you improve in such a way by reviewing that. Okay, so this is something. The myths about Agile. Someone says that it's only a cultural thing, but it isn't. It's not only a culture, it's at least a search about execution and discipline, saying you can train culture makes change impossible. So you, if, even though if you have some culture or some, some kind of adaptive mentality over here, but then you have to follow the guidelines and you have to follow the principles of agile, then it works. It won't work here. Have you guys heard about uh, people saying that agile doesn't work here? You know where it got originated? It's it's from the manufacturing company, not from the in, uh, IT background. This methodology was, uh, you know, you uh, were got uh, you know originated from the manufacturing unit. Okay, it's made basically uh, there's a history for Kanban that was um, you know found by uh, Toyota, right? So it's basically it, it can work in so many places but you have to make make availability of your principles guidelines and similarly you know it applies for everywhere okay 
Okay, but we are already agile. As we told, we have three, right? So many threes are there. And we say that, yeah, we are agile. So imagine when you're agile, where's your customer? Do you see your customer? Do you meet your customer regularly? Three, three, the people say that we worked in Agile. Do you see the customer? Shippable products. You know what I mean by shippable products? Yes. Is that working software for production? Mass running velocity. Are we doing that? Do you know velocity? What do you mean by velocity? Is or it, it's just to measure how much we can do for a particular sprint. For example, if a user story has um, one story point and in a sprint you are completing 10, and which means you are completing, you are going to complete 10 user stories, which has, which each, uh, if, if, uh, each of the user story has uh, one story, point, totally 10. 10 story points you have done. If you are doing similarly in the upcoming sprints and you take an average, which means your velocity is 10. Three sprints, you have completed 10 um, story points and that is divided into three and your velocity is three. So when another feature or any other project comes, as a team, you can say to the product owner or the customer or to the scrum master, our velocity is 10, which means you can deliver 10 story points. Got it? That's velocity. And co-location, you still have those communities. <coughs> so you see, whenever you have different uh, people located <coughs> in different areas, you know they have to gather together at any choice. Um, if if you don't have such facilities, bring them. You know, we cannot uh, put them isolated or keep away from us and get the things done because it will not uh, work when you are separated or when you are out of your team and walks in different environment and you don't have any visibility what we are doing and what others are doing, right? It has to be in one goal, the same area. Why be agile? Twice work in half the time. Do you guys agree with that? Oh, hopefully. That's because, okay, so now this is a small example how Agile works, okay? So this is going to be uh, something we are going to build alphabets like A, B, C, D, how waterfall and Agile, you know, works, how the methodology works. Firstly, the waterfall, what we are going to do is we are going to deliver A and B. It is going to take five minutes for an example. And then, for the six minutes, we are just going to deliver uh, C and D. Okay? So, altogether, this is the plan. This will be the plan for us. Right? We are just del we are just planning the things for this much of time and then we deliver this A, B, C, D. Let's deliver. But in Agile, what you are going to do is, for the first minute, we are just only focusing on what? A. Least bother about B, C, D. Okay, we are just focusing on A and it takes one minute to uh, design and to deliver. And now we just go talk to the customer. Is it okay? Fine? Good. Now do we need to turn around or turn back and ask what, is there is anything pending in A? No. Right? We are done because our customer says that, okay, I'm fine with this. If there is any changes, immediately what we have to do is we have to work on A and O, nothing else. And next we work on B. So our progress is like something, A, B, C, D, we have four deliverables. deliverables. A is done. Are we progressing now? Are we progressing now? Yes, we are progressing. Just take an example. If you are with this, are we progressing? Can we see that where we are now? If it is with the waterfall method. Confused? Yes. Yeah. How do you see the progress over here? You 
cannot see the progress because it is al almost uh, you know delivered at the six minute all together, right? But for us, A B C D A is delivered and we have reviewed, we have spoken to the customer, we have demoed it, and we have got all the inputs from the customer. If he is happy, then the progress done. Almost twenty five percentage of work is done. And then we go with the B. It's also done. And C and D. So imagine. So what's the difference is we save almost two minutes because we reviewed it. It's small, it's tiny, and it's done. But if this is a case, they have to come back. If he says that I don't like the B, then what you have to do is bring back to here, and you have to work again. Right? Waste of time. And the D is done. So again. Value deliver at the fifth minute with everything ready, and we can see the progress, and we got all the reviews from the customer. Now, the customer is also happy, and we are also delivered it fast with quality, right? That's an advantage. So, market value of feature over time. That's that's one of the important thing is. Whenever we deliver something, it gives some values for the customer. He can use it, right? So that's how we create user stories. Whenever the user stories are created, it should be functionally working and it should have some value for the customers. Otherwise, you know, he cannot use it. What is the point of putting that into production? Right? He cannot even use it. Then we cannot also say that we have progress something, right? Whenever if it is able to use or if it is functionally working for a project, then we can say that yes, five percent or ten percent, the work is done. Right? Got it? Okay. So what is not agile is taking decision top down. As he told, you both are the managers. You decide something, and when you go to the team, does that work? Did it work? 